Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Indian dribble. The Indian dribble is very useful to, to learn and in the game or at practice and I'm going to try and show you today how you can use it. So when you're a young kid uh, and you're starting off playing hockey, one of the first things they teach you is the Indian dribble. They want to teach you how to get control over the ball so that you can dribble, which is fine. However, what's more interesting in my opinion is how you can use this Indian dribble in the game and which areas of the field is it useful to use the Indian dribble. Because normally when you're running with the ball, you're running with the ball with the stick on the ball and you're trying to look for a pass. However, it's actually quite interesting when you can use that skill in the game. So just to explain uh, the technique of the Indian dribble, uh, there are a few things that are important. First of all, your hands. Um, usually, the height of your hands depends on how low you want to be towards the ground. In my opinion, when you're running with the ball on the field, that's, that's the, the height you want to have, when at that moment you want to do the Indian dribble as well. So you're not going to go extremely low, because when you're in a game, you're, this is not a natural way to hold your stick. You're going to try and move the ball back and forth with your back just bent a little bit. And you're going to try and go back and forth. What you're going to do is you're going to try and go as fast as you can. And every time you turn, you're turning your left hand. So you're going from here, seeing the top of your hand, turning it, seeing the, the palm of your hand. So you're going this way, that way, and then you add the right hand for more speed and power. So you're going back and forth like this. So the second part to the, um, to the Indian dribble is that the Indian dribble is not only as fast as you can, as short as you can. So it's not only like this and trying to do as many as you can because it's not very useful in the game. What's more useful and which is also considered Indian dribble is to go a little bit wider. So to go left and right, left and right. It takes a bit longer but it's actually quite useful because it allows you to go more from left to right, making it more difficult for the defender. Then the next step what you can do to practice the Indian dribble to use it in the game is to do a short Indian dribble on your left foot and then bring it to the right and do a short one on your right foot. So you bring it to the left, short on your left foot and then bring it to the right and then do it short on your right foot. So one of the useful things of the Indian dribble is that you have control over the ball in a small area. However, in hockey, you don't always want to be in the same place and stay there. You want to move to different areas. And what's really useful if you have the Indian dribble under control is that in small areas you can move around and have your stick on the ball, not so that it can be stolen, but that you're continuously having the ball on your stick. So how can you practice that? Make a square with four cones. We just did it with two, now we do it with four. Try and move around, here move backwards, then go back into the square, move forward, maybe change direction, try and go this way, go that way, maybe sometimes stay here, turn around, go this way, go back. In that way you can practice, if you have the ball in the game, in a small area, you can move around while dribbling the Indian style. So a good way to practice your uh, Indian dribble and try and really get control over the ball is that, especially in hockey, split vision is really important. So when you're running with the ball or you're dribbling, you also want to try and see where your teammates are. So what you want to do is you want to practice by going back and forth. Then once you get the rhythm going, that's when you look up and you try and keep dribbling. So, uh, a good way to practice the Indian dribble on speed is to take a ball and try and run at a bunch of cones as, as quick as you can and then try and just go through the cones, not in a straight line but in a zigzag and try not to touch any cones and then finish your shot on the goal.
Hey guys, so a few weeks ago we did the giveaway for the signed STX hats and I'm gonna announce the winners. The winners are these 10 names right here. If your name is amongst these names, send me a message on Instagram, a direct message, and I'll try and get your address so I can send you the hat as soon as possible. Congratulations.